Hi guys, it's Cruz. It's been a little while since I've done a voiceover, but this particular video is pretty information heavy. Today I'm going to be doing a little what I got for Christmas, specifically what art supplies, since I, that's kind of my thing. Um, so here's a little overview of what we got, um, but really quick I want to do a little disclaimer. Um, this video is not intended to come off as bragging or flaunting or any of that. I'm just excited um, and I really like watching haul videos if you want to call it that. So I thought it'd be fun to film one. I'm really grateful and fortunate to have gotten what I got this year and I hope you like the video. So right off the bat, the first thing I got was a Gen 8 iPad. I am a graphic design major, so this is really going to help with my graphic design schoolwork. Next I got the Turner acrylic gouache paint, specifically the Yusuke Nakamura 12 count set. I'm really excited to use these because I've been into gouache painting recently. And then I also got two extra tubes. I specifically got the silver one because I wanted to paint chip chrome, but uh, we'll get into that later. Next, I got the Gen Gen <laughs> Craft Watercolor Set 48 Count, um, and it also came with this paper pad, but it doesn't particularly say how many pounds it is, but that's what we're going to use today. It also came with these two water fillable pens. I don't really like these kind of pens. I think they're kind of difficult to control how much water is on your brush, but they're nice touch. And ah, my lovely baby printer. I was gifted this Canon PIXMA MX922 this year and I'm so excited. I watch a lot of studio vlogs and a lot of artists use this particular printer to make prints of their work, which is exactly what I wanna do, um, but we'll get to more on that later. And here she is all set up. She's so cute. I love her so much. And the last art related thing I got was a gift card to Sugar House Ceramics Company because I wanted a nice palette because I currently use a uh, dinner plate. <laughs> They're sold out currently so I'll have to order it later on but I've got my eye on a particular one. Alright, so let's get on to swatches. Right now I'm swatching the Gencraft watercolors, and I'm actually pretty pleasantly surprised by these. On Amazon they run for about $34.97 uh, US dollars, which is less than 75 cents per pan, which is a pretty great deal in my opinion. They're on the cheaper side, and I've never heard of these paints, like this brand or anything, but they're actually pretty nice. They're not particularly buttery or anything like that, but they work well and they get the job done. Um, one thing that Amazon says that I wouldn't really agree with is that they are easy art on the go, but they're kind of big and heavy. I would personally take a smaller palette, but whatever. Um, there's also a 24 count, like I said earlier. Oh, and this is me testing to see if they're chalky, and they're not, which is actually pretty surprising for cheap paints. Next, I'm swatching the Turner acrylic gouache set and then the individual tubes I got. Um, the Yusuke Nakamura set has a 4.7 star review on Jerry Artorama's website and it runs for $28.99 US dollars on their site. The tubes are 11 milliliters of artist Yusuke Nakamura's favorite colors to use. I've never heard of him personally, but apparently his art is really popular in Japan and his work is specifically used to wrap uh, trains, which is pretty cool. Also, the packaging is really pretty. <laughs> That's part of the reason why I had my eye on this particular set. Um, but also because I thought the pastels were really nice. Um, one thing about Turner Gouache I really love is all the information they put on their tubes about uh, which pigments were used to make specific colors and light fastness and things like that. Um, the only other gouache set that I own is the Himimaya Jelly Gouache, which doesn't include any of this information. Also, the top of the swatches are the color straight from the tube and the bottom are the colors watered down, just for reference points. 
Okay, on to the actual illustration. Like I mentioned before, I specifically wanted to paint uh, Chip Chrome, Jesse Rutherford's alter ego, um, I guess, with the silver paint. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I used one of the blues from the Gen Crafts set as an undercoat and then used gouache for the rest of this piece. Um, while I get started on this piece, I wanted to talk really quickly about some of my goals for 2021, both art and video making. I want to be more present on YouTube this year and post a bit more um, because I literally posted four times last year. I'm starting small and I'm hoping I can post at least like one video per month, but I'm going to be really lax with myself if that doesn't happen. I am a university student and I'm also the art club president, so I'm a pretty busy person. <laughs> But I want to try and be more active with posting my art on social media like TikTok and my Instagram and obviously YouTube. I spent a long time in this like insecure mindset about my art and I'm getting out of it. But I'm hoping that posting and engaging more with content and making content I actually like will help a lot with that too. Um, as for art, I, same thing. I want to get out of my comfort zone. I want to explore and create, and I want to not limit myself so much. Um, I thought it was really important to develop a style, so for years I just drew like the same thing over and over and over again. And I still don't really have a style, especially now because I'm actually developing my art and like working on the skills that I abandoned in favor for a style. Um, also, I want to try to draw a little bit for myself every day. Like I mentioned like several times in this video, I'm a graphic design major, um, I'm a university student, so I draw all the time, but it's always for school, it's never for myself. I also want to fill a sketchbook this year because I didn't fill one last year and I was also really strict about it, like everything had to be like great or have a style and uh, be completed and that's not really what a sketchbook is for. Um, is for exploring and I want to have a space where I can explore and all I really want is to feel more comfortable with art moving forward and like shed the standards that I set for myself I don't even know like how long ago anyway I'm excited for this journey and hopefully <laughs> hopefully I'll document it and you guys can see it here on YouTube or TikTok or wherever else Okay, so let's get into my thoughts on this actual piece. First of all, I really like these paints. They're fun to use, especially now that I've kind of banked a little bit of skill with gouache. Uh, I will say though that they're not as easy to use as the Himimaya gouache set. Um, they're not as easily reactivated, which can be a good or a bad thing depending on what you want the paint to do for you. It also won't reactivate when it dries on the palette. I personally kind of like this, so it doesn't bother me too much, but the Himimaya gouache is definitely more beginner friendly than this set. Regarding the actual painting, I struggled a lot. This painting took several days because I felt like I couldn't capture Jesse's likeness. He has a really masculine face and I tend to draw more feminine faces and people, but like I mentioned earlier, I want to get out of my comfort zone a little bit. Also, painting uh, silver skin was a new adventure. <laughs> And when I mixed in white or black with this particular silver paint, all of the sparkle just vanished. Um, <laughs> which is disappointing, but I guess like paint isn't magic, so. Um, the silver only ended up in a few places where I used the concentrated color, but I actually think that it turned out pretty nice this way. Going back to my printer, um, I want to make prints. I want to set up an Etsy store and I actually am pretty proud of how this painting turned out. So I may make prints if I can figure out how to get an Etsy shop up and running um, once I get the hang of like my workload this semester. So uh, if you're interested, keep an eye out for that. Um, but yeah, that's really all I had to say. Um, so I will let you watch for now, and I'll see you at the end of the video.
And really quickly, here's a little speed paint I did on Procreate on my iPad. Like I said, I'm going to use this more for school, so this was more just to like test out the application since I know a lot of artists really like it. Um, this is a little speed paint of my boyfriend. He's so cute. I love him. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you like it. I hope you stick around through 2021 and for all of my adventures in art making to come. Thanks. Bye.